Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today I was going to show you how to use the management CLI or well a brief overview of management CLI. So we will create a lot of objects, in this case the host object, you can also use it for creating network objects, you can even use it to like create rules and so on. But uh, management CLI, my preference is to use this when it comes to bulk operations, when it comes to add a lot of objects that you, well, it takes too long to do it in the GUI, so to say. So if we were to try to do like an, an object within the GUI, well, then we would need to go to uh, new host and we do like server 001 and we need to add an IP address like 10 20 20 dot, I don't know, 10. And we can do like a color and we can type a comment billing servers. Then we have one object. We can of course do clone, so clone. And then do like, um, remove this, press two and then dot one. So the second object, it goes faster, but well, it will take a lot of time to do like this, especially if you want to do like 50. So what you can do instead, well, so if we open Excel, we can create a file and we need to know how to create this file. So we need to check the management CLI and there is a reference and we are on uh, versioning API version. We are on R8040, so we can use 1.6. And we want to create host objects. So network objects, host, add host. And here we can see the syntax and the syntax is management CLI add host. And what is important here is like, which fields are required? So one required field is name. So let's do name, name, and then the other required field is IP addresses or, so you can use one of these three and we will just take IP address. And uh, what did we do more? Well, we did, two, we did put the specific color. So more and then colors. And we did also do a comment. So what did we use for colors? Let's see. This one and it's called Kyan. Okay. So let's do color and all available ones. They are here. So let's do Kyan. And then we did type uh, billing servers. And we have already created number one and number two. So let's start with number three. So I will just copy this one. Number three. And we did take that IP range. So let's do number 12. And well, Excel is nice for this. So hopefully you can do like this. Well, yeah. Let's do to, let's do to dot 50. So that's 41 servers. And drag this down as well. Okay, so now we have our file and we need to save this as a CSV. So save as, and we create it as a CSV, comma delimiter. And we call this servers 100. Okay, it's saved. And here we have the file. So let's open it. And uh, I open it in Notepad. So this is the file, how it looks. And you see all the parts is separated with comma. So that's a comma separated file. So either you can just transfer this file with the SCP user that we created a few videos ago, or we can create this file in the management station. And I was thinking that we should create this file. So let's go into VMware. Let's close down some stuff here. So VMware, okay. So let's go to secure CRT. 
and log into the management station. And we need to be an expert. When we log into expert, we can type PWD to see where we currently are. And I like to do this from, from the temp folder. You can of course do it from your home directory, but um, let's change directory. So CD slash TMP for temp. And if you want to verify this, well, PVD. And then you can see that you are there. And we want to create one uh, file. So cut, and then I think this is just called arrow. And the file name, server service100.csv. And now it's created, so control C. And then type vi and the file name. And vi is a text editor. So vi service.100 service 100csv and then you press i for insert and we want to copy paste all of these so control a control c and then paste and we have all the the service here so press escape and then uh, the two dots and write quit and if we want to verify that we actually have this in the file, well, then we can do cat and servers 100, and we see that we have this list. So let's do like this. Go back to management CLI. And here we have the, um, the syntax, but this syntax is only for adding one host. And we don't want to add one host. We want to add a complete file. We want to batch it in. And we need to go into the SK 11, 30, 78. And this is how to import multiple objects into R80X management database using CSV file. Well, we have already created a CSV file and now we want to add all these hosts. So we need to do management underscore CLI, add host batch, and then the file name. So let's do this. And we can do like this. So we see it when we add it. So let's just have the syntax and the syntax was uh, this. So paste. And we don't have a domain, so we can skip that part. But we have batch because it's a batch of files that we need to add and we need to specify the file and that is called servers100.csv so just press enter then you will be prompted with the user that you want to execute this command and we will just use the admin account and uh, hopefully this works let's see maybe this takes some time but how long does it take for you to add this manually? So if this takes, well, five minutes or 10 minutes, does it matter? Because you don't need to do more stuff now. You see that it's already starting to add and now it's 100%. So we can see all the objects here and they are last modified by admin. So if we click here, we have the billing servers, we have the IP address, we have the correct color, so this is quite nice. And um, that's how you do bulk operation with management CLI. And you can of course use management CLI for more things. You can, for example, like uh, show objects. So for example, we can do show host. So um, management CLI show host. And then we need to check what is the requirement to use this command? Well, name is required or UID. UID is not really human readable, so just use name. So management, oh, sorry, we need to have underscore here. Show host, and we can do SRV 041. Enter. Two hours later. We, of course, we need to type name because that's the requirement. <laughs> here, name, enter. 
And this is the reason why I say it's a bulk operation thing, because if you do it single by single, well, you need to type in your password, your username and password all the time. That will take ages. So here you can see all the information regarding this host object. So you can see that it's the name, the UID, um, you can see that it's a comment, you can see that it has a color. Um, you can of course create things with this uh, management CLI as well, one by one if you want to. So for example, we can uh, create, um, let's create a group. So host group, add group. So management CLI, CLI, add group, and then the requirements is name name billing servers and you get prompted again and let's see if it's created well that did go fast and let's go back group network group billing servers and this one is empty because we didn't specify any members of it we could of course do that if we would check uh, the more commands here so members, then you can add objects of members. And there's of course um, examples how you can run this command and you can put this in for in JSON format so you don't need to do one by one, you can do hundreds if you want to. So batch operation, good. Uh, single operations, horrible. It takes a long time. Then it's faster to do it in the console. Um, but I can show you how to add this in the in the group. So if we have the host and then we want to change the parameter on the host. So we want to do set host because we don't want to add a new one. We just want to change the parameter of it. So management underscore CLI set host, then the requirements name and SRV 41. And what do we want to do with it? Well, we want to do more and we want to do groups. Groups. And we want to add it within billing servers. Server. We are prompted again. And server object 41 is not found. Well, we need to do like 041. It's of course case sensitive, so it will not find uh, what it's regarding. And I will show you one thing here, just uh, before I press OK here. So if I take this one, if I open this one, so you see that the network object is, uh, is open, and you see that it's a little pen there. So if I press Enter here now, it will fail again. And you see here, it's failing because it's locked. This object, building servers, is locked by the admin for editing. So if I do cancel here and I do pay and I do arrow up and just do it again. This should be successful. And 100% successful. If we open this one up, we see that uh, server 41 is added. So of course you can do it in the CLI. If you do it batched, perfect. If you do it one by one, well, you're just wasting time. Uh, because for example, if you want to see me how to do to add uh, server groups here, well, plus SRV, and you can do like this. So you can mark them. I mean, it's not super fast. But it's faster than typing the, the name all the time. So it's easier. If you do like this, well, maybe you miss something. In CLI, well, you don't miss anything. So now it's a lot more here. And you can, of course, do a show group. So if we want to do um, a host, we want to do group, show host. Uh, so we want to do show group, I mean. So management CLI 
show group name as it's required billing servers server it's case sensitive and i don't have it open do i have it open no but i need to publish it okay and admin and you can see here now you get a lot more information so if you want to use this for scripts and so on well this is perfect uh, if you want to find out information with uh, big things, well, you can use this. Um, I would use the REST API instead, uh, so you can do it from like Ansible or, or something else. You shouldn't uh, use it from like this SSH prompt in the management station itself. Um, there's better ways to do the API for say like this. This is just a basic way for normal admins to add a bunch of objects quick. Uh, so if you want to add 50 network objects or 500 hosts, this is perfect. And it's easy so everyone can do it without knowing how to code. So um, that's it for this brief introduction of management CLI. I hope you did learn something. Please uh, like, share and comment below what you want to see next. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.